We've been sitting here for 22 minutes. And as much as I like to stare in those menacing eyes of yours. <laughs> so he is alive. You want to tell me why? Had to. It's not an answer. You're lucky you're sitting there in one piece. It wasn't luck. Oh. It was fate. Really? Why is that? Well, the way I figured it was doing him a favor. Him who? Oh. Yeah. I don't think he'd approve of you killing 16 people. Who deserved it? I told you wouldn't understand. Why is that? Because you're just like them. Really? It wasn't murder. I told you. It was a cleansing. Marion. I can call you Marion. Were you named after that rapper? You know, the big guy who killed Pop. If you were the real brother, you know he wasn't a rapper. So are you going to tell me why? I told you. Cleansing. All white males, ages 17 to 60. No age pattern. Why white males? Are you kidding me? No. Read the news, man. None of these men were involved in any violent acts, nor do they have criminal records. But they were going to. That's the point. They would have. They're like roaches, and they need to be exterminated. So you murdered men based on what you thought they would do. Can I say that cops are some of the most stupidest people on the planet? Look, Michael Gray posted subversive literature on social media. Gary Langston is a card-carrying member of the KKK, demonstrates with dukes, and made threats against illegals. Fred Hill took pictures with an AK-47 a noose around a black dummy on Republic's directive's website. Gunnar Wilkes posts photos with a sawed-off shotgun in his mother's basement and posted it on primary.com. In five minutes, he deleted it. But I found it. Yes, I did. With a name like Gunnar, he got to be a killer. So you murdered him in cold blood on his way to school. It wasn't cold. Nothing cold about it. All them innocent kids, old folks, they don't care. All they do is slaughter. No mercy. See, I give mercy. Every time I pull that trigger, it was mercy. I wish I could do so much more. But you did. So who's the hypocrite now, huh? Didn't you stab Dennis Stamper 16 times, then hang him? And it gets worse. It's no worse than what they're doing to us. I know you can't relate, brother. Hate makes more hate evil more evil. And you are one evil brother. Why? Because I won't do the MLK thing? Love the ones that hate us? Nah. Destroy the ones that hate us by any means necessary. See, you're part of the problem. Weak ass brother with a gun. And don't have the guts to use it on the real enemy. The ones you work with, play with. It's a war. They're hunting us. And the only way to turn the tables and end it is to shoot first. You can't kill someone for their theology, mentality, or political point of view. But I could defend this country against enemies foreign and domestic. I served in Afghanistan. That's the oath I took. You swore an oath to serve and protect. No, 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 no. You did. All of y'all. But. This ain't freedom.
This is freedom. The power to execute before Almighty God. Because of God or instead of God? He has skewed your perspective, brother. Brother, we ain't brothers on any level. You're right. Any human being's my brother. You're neither. Okay, go on. Go ahead and walk away. The war's coming, brother. Go ahead and walk away. With or without you. The war's coming. Like it or not, the war is coming.